Sneak Erratics, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells hitting you with a detailed look at these FIBA Air Jordan 4s early official retail pair. None of that shadiness. I see other people got them on Instagram and everywhere else. This is a legit pair from Jordan brand Nike, basically. Stay for the whole video. I'm going to tell you right now, I've got tons of shoes from Jordan that has not released yet. All legit shoes like these camos, the camo 10s. We're going to get into a bunch of shoes here, so stay for the entire video. Don't cut out because you're going to miss out. And make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you do not miss out on any content. And thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Right off the bat, first time looking at them, I like them. I like the color combination with the red and that navy obsidian. I'm digging these. I think they're kind of fresh. With that said, let's get up close. The leather's pretty nice, I must say. I like the tumble on it. Nice tumble. I like the hits of navy, as I was saying. And the one thing, of course, you see all these designs on that mid-panel replacing the mesh. I'm digging it. With your harness going up to your laces, and then you have your midsole with your air unit right there check it out check it out looking at the outsole right there with your little baby jump man looking at the back with your guard to your gold jump man pops like crazy that metallic back it up one time check it out looking at the medial side as far as the fit go true to size on jordan fours let you have the damn cinder block foot the E.T. out of this world alien foot, then go up half a size. If that's not the case, stay true to size. I think Jordan 4s are hot garbage when they crease. Jordan 3s, they get away with it. But for me, Jordan 4s, trash. Once that toe starts folding like a slice of pizza, get them out of here. So make sure they fit exactly to your feet. And if you buy these or any Jordan 4s and you don't plan on wearing them right away, this is a tip that saved so many people so much money. I got people all the time that thank me for this tip. Do not just keep them in the box if you're going to just, as I like to say, put them up top, let them marinate, not wear them for a while, just let them marinate in that box until you know everyone wears their pairs and they're not out there like that when you're out and about. You gotta at least try them on, wear them in the house for about 10 to 20 minutes, get that midsole to feel some pressure. You gotta keep in mind, the shoes are made in the factory, they throw them in the box, then it gets shipped to us in the United States or wherever you're from. Shout out to everyone all over the world that's watching. And then that's it. They never felt any pressure. So if you leave it in the box, aka what I like to say, the coffin, if you leave it in there and it feels pressure for the first time, a year or two or three or four years from now, that paint's going to crack on you. Definitely put them on your feet, wear them around the crib for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Let that paint feel pressure, then put it back in the coffin, let it marinate, and your paint will be strong like bull. <laughs> It's a major tip and it definitely will help you out. Let's get up close on that design on the medial side on that panel. Very dope and it's different too, which I do like. I don't know if every pair is gonna have different designs on it or if it's the exact design on each pair. Let me know in the comments if you own these, if your design's the same as this. And definitely please right now, smash that thumbs up button. I really had to go out of my way to hunt down an authentic, legit pair from a licensed retailer. So let's try to at least get 100 likes, maybe 500 likes. Let's make it happen, Dells Nation, Team DJ Dells. Smash that thumbs up. It lets me know to keep moving and grooving and grinding to find these pairs early for you so you know what's out there when them shoes drop. This channel's for the consumers. So bang that thumbs up button if you are one, and I appreciate you. Bird's eye view on the toe, going up, more of them designs. And I'm definitely curious to see if the design's different on every shoe. Flat laces, you got your flight tag up top, classic. On the back of the tongue, something different for the love of the game, digging it. And then you have your red insole with your jump man. Now don't go anywhere, we're gonna hit you with some more sneakers. First, 
Let me know what you think of these, hot or not. Leave it in the comments. I'm curious to know. These will be releasing on September 7th for $200. So there's going to be a $10 price hike, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of whack. I'm not feeling that. I don't think anyone here is feeling that price hike. Now let's get into these Camouflage Air Jordan 10s. Do we like these? Let me know right now. I mean, some people are going to say, yo, these are kind of tacky. Looks like some bootleg flea market joints. Some are going to say, yo, these are hard. These are them CNN, Channel 10, what what's right here. If you know what I'm talking about, salute to you and leave that in the comment box. Let me know what your favorite song was from War Report. Because I look at these, I'm thinking of N-O-R-E when I see these. Definitely a classic hip-hop album. Wouldn't be right if I didn't tell you my favorite cut off the album. And that's definitely Blood Money. That's the joint right there. And me personally, I think they did a good job. Am I going to pick them up? You'll find out on the review that I do because I do have a review ready to roll and I want you to watch that. But I did want to hit you with a look on these real quick because I don't know what shoe to post next. So I'm definitely asking you in the comments out of all of these shoes that I'm about to show you, which one do you want to see a review on next? These will release on August 31st, by the way, for 190 buckarooskies. And one thing also that's interesting about this upper is that it's not leather. It's that rib stop material right there, as you can see. And some are going to like that. Some are going to hate that fabric vibe. I mean, there is leather on there, as you can see, but majority of the shoe is that rib stop material. And uh, I think that that's going to be a hit or a miss for a lot of people. Some are going to love it. Some are going to hate it. A lot of heads all about that leather and that suede. That's all they want. They don't want nothing else. They want that leather and suede. Are you one of those or not? You could get down with the rib stop if it's done right. Let me know in the comments what you think of these too. I'm just trying to interact and have some sneaker talk with you all. Now, these bad boys are releasing this weekend. I'm assuming you want this to be the next review. Let me know. It's going to be Battle of the camos versus these i'm sure let me know what you want to see tomorrow and i will do my best to get that video edited it's all filmed i just got to edit it and i just didn't know which one to upload first so definitely let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of these right here i'm pretty sure these are going to be 200 bucks also i like the colorway it's a clean clean colorway i kind of wish that it released though in the summertime it's got that summer vibe to it love the back of the shoe really unique with all the writing down there looks really dope and once again these will be releasing this weekend and depending on what the popular comments are I'm gonna review these or the tens now yesterday I did review these UNC's that's what the nicknames going for these for obvious reasons has the UNC colorway on it I think that this one may sell out fast some people think these are gonna sit but the more I talk to people the more people are kind of hyping up the shoe so don't sleep on these when they release I forgot what the release date is on them definitely watch the review though I I definitely recommend you watching it just giving you a quick look at all these shoes and what I'm gonna do is post this pop-up which will be a playlist to this week of reviews so you'll get to watch all of the reviews if you're just tuning into this video maybe even a few days from now you'll see that pop up just watch that playlist and you'll get to see the review on these and when I get to those other shoes it'll be on that playlist along with this video right here my 40k sneaker collection I show basically 12 pairs of shoes that equivalents to more than 40k as far as the resale tip tons of rare grails i mean these are shoes most of your favorite youtubers they don't got these right here i guarantee you and that's what it's about at the end of the day these sneakers this is a must see video and i really love this video it's one of my favorite videos i've recorded in 10 years 10 plus years of being on youtube doing sneaker videos i would love for you to watch this one you will love it there's no way you will not love this video if you love sneakers you will be highly entertained so definitely check that out out and getting back to this shoe one more time let me know what you think of these i know i shot you a lot of questions so you know leave multiple comments and definitely thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it matter of fact if you didn't enjoy it if you dislike me thumbs down the video i would rather you thumbs down the video than not even than not do anything at all just want to get you moving to the video and interacting so if you don't like me or the re or the video and you're watching please thumbs it down <laughs> express your hate i love it i embrace the hate so either do one or the other and thank 
thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you had fun watching. We got the sneaker addict t-shirts. That's below. If you love podcasts, check out my Patreon. You absolutely love it. There's over 74 hours of content there that's exclusive to Patreon. That will be linked in the description box. And when you join, you're in the monthly giveaway. So it's definitely well worth joining. Everyone have a great day. And I'll be reading all these comments. So go in on the comments. Let me know what's goody. We out. We out. We out. We out.